Alright, oh, uh, yeah, Ironman World Championships, uh, Nice, and I guess the road to the lead in for me um, from this point. And uh, yeah, I think it's super exciting. I think there probably um, hasn't been a race for me that I've been so excited about in a long time. Uh, I do think that, let's just say, in the last sort of 10 years or something, in my mind, uh, a lot of long distance races have been dialed down and it's been about kind of breaking times and world records and, and making the distance as easy as possible. Um, where I feel like this course is going to be a little bit different to that. And uh, yeah, with so much climbing involved, uh, I think it's going to. I think it's going to really change the dynamic of the race, the way people do race. I think there's going to be um, the ability to take a lot more risk within the racing um, and probably to be yeah, either more aggressive or conservative, um, whatever you choose uh, and how you choose to race it. Yeah, I think going forward, uh, Nice now, we've got a pretty strong um, lineup and pretty happy with. Uh, what the plan is from here. Um, so we're here, we're in Noosa. Um, we've got a big training block uh, here in the lead up. Uh, lucky enough to have a great swim squad and uh, swim with old mate JR, so. Anyone good there? No, no one good. When we do the 30-50s today, yep. I don't want you to get out. I want you to treat them uh, with a uh, 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 one red flag for the one blue place. Yep. Right, you stay in the water and you push. Okay. We're going 30 on the minute, which will suit you today coming back first up. Okay. All right, buddy. All right. All right. It gives me that confidence that, you know, by the time I head to Europe, um, my swimming's going to definitely be at a world class standard and uh, hopefully guarantee that um, front pack swim. Um, we leave from here, we go race Milwaukee on the way, um, which is the PTO race. And it's actually my first PTO distance uh, race that I've done outside of the Collins Cup. So I think that dynamic's gonna be really interesting. Uh, I know that you know my best sort of better results, 70.3 um, kind of times and paces that they're, they're up there um, and they're on that kind of to the top five stage. So yeah, it'll be, it'll be fascinating to line up there and just roll the dice. And I think that's probably the beauty of it is it feels like it's a little bit of a stepping stone to get to Europe. So it's on the way, in a roundabout way, uh, to get us to Europe and to test the body and see how we go across that distance. But uh, we're not riding too much on it at the same time. Um, so yeah, we're there. Uh, well, then we head and do an altitude camp. Um, so we'll get good solid three and a half weeks at altitude. Course, uh, I think for ocean swim is great. I think it's uh, yeah, it's going to be um, just a big kind of big mass swim start. Uh, I seem to swim a lot better in the open water than I swim in the pool and it doesn't seem to make a difference whether I swim in a swim skin or a wetsuit. So yeah, definitely not too phased which way around that one goes. Uh, and then the bike ride. Definitely lots of chat about uh, what bikes we're gonna use for Ironman Nice course, but I think for me, this bike is probably as fast as I'm gonna get. Um, we definitely do lots of things to try and make it as light as possible but uh, I really love the way this thing handles on the descent and I think that's going to make the difference for me. I think that's probably the most exciting part and fascinating part about this course, that it's going to be such a strong ride that it's going to be really hard for people to hide um, and not work on that ride. So it's going to be, I guess, a very much an overall strength athlete who's got the capabilities to win that race. and. Uh, yeah, I think with a, a strong ride, um, being able to push the hills, but being comfortable at that kind of upper effort um, is something that works really well for me and has done. Um, and with my mountain biking off-road background, uh, I think that yeah, the ability to climb and ride well out of the saddle is uh, probably one of my strengths, um, rather than being fixed into that aero TT position. 
Um, I seem to have been able to work it out in the last few years of how to ride a TT bike um, and stay in aero, but it's definitely not my preferred position. But yeah, and so, and then bike too, you know, it's fun to be able to start trying to get creative with the bike and how that's gonna um, play into, I guess, technology-wise and that within the course, because obviously it's, it's quite different to what um, the general Ironman course is being set for and I think weight is obviously going to be a key factor uh, on that course so how do we take a you know more and more weight out of our bikes um, to make them perform uh, on the hills and also how do we potentially adjust some of the geometry or adjust the bars a little bit to allow us to potentially stay in aero on hillier sections um, how do we adjust the bike a bit more to maybe to get more performance on the descents? Uh, how do we work the brakes, obviously, to try make them, I guess, more uh, modular or um, give you more control on the descents as well? Um, so yeah, there's lots of really cool little factors that can come into that bike course. Um, and then obviously a real flat run course that's gonna be based in the city, um, four laps, uh, which I'm sure by that time, the crowds will be out and uh, make for exciting running.